Right, how's it going? I'm going to be uh, putting a UK block onto the uh, Radium HD 6990. I'll strip it down and then uh, I'll show you the, uh, the chipset and I'll show you the EK um, site as well. Saying about the way that the, uh, the chipset uh, for this model is a reference design. So if you're going to buy one, then uh, I'm going to save you a bit of work and show you that uh, the chipset is in fact the same as, as EK's uh, requirements. And I'm going to be fitting this block, so uh, we'll uh, just go through it a bit by bit now. Yeah, this is, um, like I say, this is a VTX. Uh, and this is the uh, the overclocking switch. They put a um, portion read on it manual before removing, because you can increase the voltage. So, I mean, if you're going to be using air, uh, you don't have access to that. It's just a simple switch and switches it over to a higher voltage as long as you've got to watch your temperatures in. Then uh, just going to whip these two screws out. Whip the uh, CP2 retention screws out. It's just in case of taking these out, taking these out, taking all these off. But, and then uh, it'll come off. So um, I'll show you what happens then once it's off. Yeah, these are actually spring loaded, right? So it might be worth um, it might be worth uh, just being aware of the fact that they are spring loaded. And like I open them diagonally, you know what I'm saying? They don't have to, but this is the way I'm doing it. But they are actually uh, spring loaded. You won't be using these when you assemble the, uh, the EK block on. So you can put them to one side if you ever want to put them back on here again. I don't know if you don't think it's a spring come off. You've got to watch little things like that. Don't fall under the board when you reassemble a little bit of metal because you're going to get a naughty little short, short, uh, short you know. So um, I'll take all that. I might as well show you. I'm taking all these other screws out. It'll take two seconds. This back plate, right, to get it into the case I'm using, I'm using a uh, Danger Den uh, double wide, but it's a regular size of 60mm radiators. And uh, I actually have to cut part of this, this plate off. I cut across here now, take about 10mm off. It's not necessary, you'll see that when I strip it. But you can buy the, uh, you can buy EK's cover plate, which goes on here. Uh, I don't know what, what length that is. But um, I think that the difference is that the EK one has got a, a bit of a nicer design on it, like, you know, like, um, EVGA, GEX 580 Hydro Coppers, they're nice looking cards. So, but these are nice once you've modded them up there, they're, they're tidy. You take these two screws out as well, you have to keep these ones right because uh, I think these ones go back on again. Oh no, no they don't, no they don't. Yeah. But it's all off. Okay. When you pull it apart then, you're going to find um, that uh, there's a um,
That's the same as uh, other highlights. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to be uh, cleaning all the, the chips up now. Um, ready to apply some grease. And uh, the new uh, the thermal tape. And this, uh, on this block, it's just one, one type. It's the same thickness, I think it's 0.5. Um, so I'll be uh, applying, uh, applying these to the card, like you know. So um, at the back plate, because it's going to be going back on again. The thermal tape is on it. It's going to stay put for now. Because uh, they do actually, there are uh, chips on the back that get uh, a bit heated up as well, like you know. So I'll get all this lot cleaned up and then uh, we'll put some grease on. One new, new tip, look. Just gently going around the edges, just to clean them up, make sure you get it, get it all off, like you know what I'm saying. And then just uh, turn it upside down, give it a little bit of a blow, like, and uh, be right. But just uh, keep away from these little dies around the edges, tiny little chips around the edge, right? So just bust off and then you've had it. Right, I'm gonna put the uh, the EK block on. I've got all the pads on. And uh, got some grease on it. I put it on, but I'm going to be taking it back off again, and just to have a look, sort of uh, what impressions we're having. Right? So uh, I'll, uh, I'll do that. And we'll have a look. But I'll do it after I've put the spaces on. It's going to be uh, doing the spaces, which come in the pack. Um, just uh, screw it to keep the block off the uh, away from the chip face. You can see there's a little spanner. Uh, tighten them up with, but just be careful that you don't uh, over tighten them. Yeah, that's what I'd mention, right? You've got to get these little lugs in there, the spaces, right? If you try putting them in with your hands, it's, it's murder. So, what I, I, I suggest is, right, is get one of the screws, which is going to screw it, uh, screw the, them together after, screw one of the screws in, into the, the little lug, put the Allen key, which is supplied into, into the screw, and then use that then get it started because uh, if you're trying to get your hands in there with the little lugs uh, it's, it's pretty tricky so that's that's one way I found it doing it a little bit quicker and then just uh, take the screw back out again like you know what I'm saying right I've screwed it all down and uh, I'm going to take it all apart now just to see or uh, we'll make sure that uh, we have got um, you know we are going to be uh, pushing on all the chips correctly so it's a bit of a nuisance and it'd be easy to just say, I oh, don't worry about it, but uh, you know, if you want this kid to run tidy, you need to check, like, so we'll have a look, we'll strip it down, we'll have another look, see, uh, see what's happening. And by the way, when you're tightening these screws up, right, the torque is at very, very tiny, really, really don't need much effort because you'll you just rip the thread straight off. So when you're, when you're uh, tightening it down, do, you do, do it the same as you do a, a cylinder head on an engine. I do it diagonally, outside, 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 I'm working your way into the centre and just a very, very small amount of pressure, like you know. So it's just as well I stripped it right there, as you can see uh, the bridge chip now, look, has hardly made any impression at all. And so what I've done is now is I've applied some, um, some grease now to these tapes. I'm going to put it back down again and we'll have a real look then at uh, what, what's happening with regards to the machine and compatibility with this board, right? Because uh, don't want stuff overheating like this to be it's, it's totally defeating the object. So uh, I'll put it back down again and then we'll have a look at the impressions again. Okay. But what I did was I put some grease spots on the uh, back plate again just to see what's happening. I know these uh, these are the original thermal pads. It just goes to show you that we've got no impression on that chip. Right? A little bit of an impression on that chip. Do you know what I'm saying? You can see there that we're not really getting much impression, okay? Right? So uh, We'll have a look now what happens when we lift the main board up. Right, see what's happening this time. Look, these chips here, they're not getting any, uh, they're not mating at all. Right? So we won't panic, but we can get an idea then about uh, what's going to happen with regards to, um, you know, uh, maybe adding some more, some, uh, a thicker layer of uh, film pad. But it just goes to show you that. Uh, you can't just um, put on as they say without checking. 
because this check shows that uh, there's, there's problems with, or there would be problems that these haven't even made it at all. You know what I'm saying? And you couldn't tighten the, the screws up anymore because they would definitely die, like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm going to uh, start again, clean it up. And where I think you need to have slightly thicker pads, I'll put them on and then we'll double check again. Uh, I've screwed it all back up again. Now I'll strip it down again. Yeah, the face plate, because I put a, a bit of a thicker layer of grease on last time, we've got a good spread this time, so that's that, that's looking good. Yeah, and this time now as well, you can see we've got a much better spread on the uh, the other bunch of chips as well. In fact, this actually took it took it away from me, so it's so alright, so I'm just cleaning it all up. I know what's happening here now. Uh, the contacts are, are looking a lot better. So basically, in this case, it looked like this band just needed doubling up on the, on the tape, like, so, it's worth checking. There you are anyway, uh, is that card completed? It is a, it is a beautiful looking card, I must say. It is, uh, it's, it is really, really nice. Nice card. I'm going to see how it performs, but it, it looks like a beauty. It's absolutely fantastic. I cut 10 mil off this, I have. 10, took 10 mil off, so it fits the cases. These cars are massive. But they're quite a bit bigger than a GTX 580 Hydrocopters. So, uh, so I had to put a little bit off it with a hacksaw, like, you know what I'm saying? That's a piece of this. Just watch it, I'm getting any of the metal filings anywhere near the, uh, the board. Some people might want to take this off and put a single, single card uh, backplate on it. But uh, this one's going into a, an Asus Rampage 3. So uh, there's only going to be two of them on the board. And 16 times um, the card slots are quite far apart, you know. So uh, 